I have this issue with my gaming PC. Every time I started playing a video game, Xbox, the Steam, or the Epic apps, the monitors would completely lose signal. It would just completely go black as if I just disconnected them from my graphics card. But the weird thing is that I would still hear the video game audio through my speakers. So the only way I could get out of that black screen, I had to hardwood my PC. So I did a Google search and found many posts and videos. This is what I went through and what finally fixed my issue. The first thing I did was uninstall and reinstall my graphics card drivers. I went ahead and first made sure that I had the latest drivers and that did not solve my problem. So. I went back to a previous driver and that did not solve my problem. I made sure that my Windows updates were current. I went ahead and did that. That didn't solve the issue. I actually uninstalled the Windows updates because I originally thought that it was due to a uh, Windows bug and I actually read that in a post somewhere. That did not solve my problem either. All right, so the next thing I did, changed my DPI settings through the um, Windows uh, display controller. I changed the scaling, run as administrator, make sure that the gaming apps weren't set to power saver mode. That didn't work. I also tried changing all those gaming apps to compatibility modes. That did not work either. Now, another post suggested to uninstall and reinstall Windows and I just did not want to go through all that trouble, so I skipped that step. I did find several YouTube videos, uh, obviously going through all these different uh, options. None of them worked, but I did find this one individual on YouTube. He had a great uh, video explaining it may be due to a design flaw in the actual graphics card. Something about the capacitors were not limited to power consumption. He actually went through uh, ex explaining the issue and how you could resolve it, he ended up solving his issue through a MSI overclocking software. He solved it by changing the limit of the volts. He set his to exactly one volt for his graphics card. However, I've never overclocked a graphics card, so I was just actually kind of scared to do it, so I went ahead and skipped that suggestion. All right, so finally I found this post on Reddit. This user had a similar issue. Uh, he went through and explained what was going on with his situation and it was very similar to mine and he suggested that it was the power supply. That's how he solved his issue. So I went ahead and ordered a 1000 watt EVGA power supply. I'll go ahead and uh, add that link in the description of the video. I ordered it through Amazon. It was about $130, which included shipping. So once I got that delivered, I went ahead and uh, replaced my old power supply. The uninstall and reinstall of the power supplies was actually fairly easy. You just disconnect all your you know, components and then just reconnect all the cables. Once I did that, I went ahead and turned my computer on. All right, so finally, we are here at uh, testing it out. I activated a Plague Tale, which is the title of the video, um, of the video game. So before, when I had the issue, it would go through this loading process and you would actually get to this uh, loading screen but once I hit um, continue or load, it would completely uh, go dark. So let's see. So here at, at this screen, I wouldn't even see the screen. It would just um, lose connection to my uh, monitors and I wouldn't even, this wouldn't even be visible. Um, but it looks like the game loaded. Or well, my monitors are displaying now. You should hide. Stay and by the way, if you haven't played this this game before, um, I highly recommend it. It's such a beautiful game. The design, the story, it's just captivating, really. And oh, and the the designers really were so meticulous in the oh, environment I detail. I mean, it is truly an impressive game. So, 
Um, this game was actually, I believe, yeah, I, I got it free through the Epic uh, free games giveaways. Hopefully, if they give it away, you know, keep an eye out for this game. It is such a beautiful game. And uh, part two is already out, which it wasn't as good as I thought it'd be. But this first one is just such an amazing game. But it looks like that actually solved our problem. So, you know, replacing your um, power supply might solve your issue if you're going through something similar as I went through. However, before you go through ordering your new power supply and replacing it, this is what you should really do because this is something that I completely should have done before I ordered the new part. This is my old graphics card connectors connecting cable and check this out. Look at this. So this connector is completely burned out and so I totally missed that when I was disconnecting from the old power supply. I just went ahead, disconnected, put it away. If you're having an issue like this, maybe check your connectors first. And um, I mean, I could have probably resolved this issue uh, by just connecting a new uh, cable, the extra cable that I had with me. But, you know, this is a good upgrade for my um, PC. All right, so now that the issue is finally resolved, I'm very excited because Xbox uh, Game Pass just released the uh, Sauna's Saga Hellblade 2. And I've been waiting for this game for so long. It looks fan freaking tastic and I can't wait to play it. So I'm glad I was able to fix my issue. All right, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.